हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू रॉ ऑनलाइन एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज माइक्रोब्स इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर एन सी आर टी क्लास ट्वेल्थ द डिस्कशन इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नीट एंड रैपिड रिविजन ऑल्सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वन दर इज चूज इन करेक्ट चूज इन करेक्ट This is concerned with the role of microorganism in household product. Lactic acid bacillus. It's a group of bacteria. Lactic acid bacillus, in which uh, one example is lactobacillus. They grow in milk and convert into curd. This is right. LAB produce acid that coagulate and partially digest milk sugar. This is wrong. Instead of milk sugar, it is milk protein casein. instead of milk sugar instead of milk sugar they digest milk protein that is casein they digest milk protein correct is milk protein and what is milk protein it is casein milk protein is casein right then curd is rich in vitamin b12 it is right and lab that the lactic acid bacillus checking the disease causing microorganism that's right so in this question the only wrong one that is incorrect one is that is milk sugar instead of milk sugar they partially digest milk protein that is casein so answer is b answer is b baker's yeast that is used by the bakery it is also called brewer's yeast and it is saccharomyces cerevisiae saccharomyces cerevisiae is known as baker's or brewer's yeast baker's or brewer's yeast it's a member of ascomycetes it's a member of ascomycetes baker's yeast is member of ascomycetes unicellular non mycelial fungi unicellular non mycelial fungi it has an enzyme zymase and this zymase enzyme acts on glucose and convert it into c2h5oh that is alcohol plus carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide when released responsible for the puff of appearance of bread puff of appearance of bread in bread industry actually wheat flour is taken in which yeast is added the kneading is done kneading is done and at a particular temperature it is adjusted in microbes or any device uh, sorry microwave or any device and you'll see the bread gives puff of appearance this is called leavening process this is known as leavening and this leavening is due to this leavening is due to release of carbon dioxide release of carbon dioxide in the section and it makes the bread porous also second so it is used in the bakery item for the preparation of bakery item especially bread industries so it is called baker yeast as well as brewer yeast in alcoholic beverages yeast is mostly used yeast is mostly used because it is responsible for the conversion of glucose into ethyl alcohol conversion of glucose into ethyl alcohol the main ingredient in wine as well as in liquor so the answer to is first answer to is first that is saccharomyces cerevisiae saccharomyces cerevisiae question number 3 yeast is used for the production in the production of in the production of that is bread plus beer both just in previous question i have covered 
that is for the bread industries as well as beer beer is alcoholic beverages beer is alcoholic beverages and kept in the non distilled non distilled alcoholic beverages it is a non alcoholic beer and wine are the non alcoholic beverages non distilled alcoholic beverages non distilled alcoholic beverages non distilled alcoholic beverages so that's why the, this is the use of is that is choose fourth question incorrect statement choose incorrect statement propione bacterium sharmana is used for the preparation of swiss cheese right swiss cheese is known for large hole swiss cheese is known for large hole and cheese is classified on the basis of texture taste and flavor and this is done by the microbial activity and propione sharmana propione bacterium sharmana sharmani as used for the preparation of swiss cheese and swiss cheese is known for the large hole then roquefort cheese here the ripening agent is not a bacteria this is a statement as wrong it's a fungus penicillium roqueforti in roquefort cheese ripening agent is a fungus penicillium roquefortii penicillium roquefortii i come to the next question because second is wrong in this case clearly second is wrong that is roquefort cheese it's a ripening agent is fungal not bacteria bacteria are useful in the fermentation of dough of idli and dosa right and wine and beer they are the they are the products because of non distillation of fermented broths right question number 5 question number 5 now these are the product first product is citric acid second is vinegar third is butyric acid and these are the microorganisms which are given in front of but they are mismatched in this question we have to choose the correct match citric acid is obtained commercially from this particular fungus that is aspergillus niger with a species we can add the word niger also then vinegar is acetic acid it is a food preservative vinegar is acetic acid vinegar is actually acetic acid it is used as food preservative that is c as 3 c o o h and vinegar is obtained commercially from this bacteria that is acetobacter aceti acetobacter aceti and the butyric acid clostridium butyricum butyricum so now choose the correct match in that case one with two that is b and b option starts from the two two in two options there is a b so we have to select answer from these two only first two are automatically rejected now here now come to the second option vinegar is obtained from acetobacter that is with b second with c first with first with b second with c then automatically third with the a so in this case the answer is b c a b c a sixth question bottled juice is clarified with the two enzymes and these two enzymes are directly at the first place that is pectinase and protease these two enzymes are used in the clarifying the bottled juice question number 7 which which is used as effective in expensive thrombolytic medicine in some cases of 
myocardial infarction and pulmonary embolism this answer is correct streptococcus sorry streptokinase a enzyme streptokinase a enzyme known as clot buster this is also called clot buster clot buster that is a dissolves clot streptokinase enzyme dissolves clot so thrombolytic that is responsible for the dissolution of clot pectinase is an enzyme streptokinase is an enzyme it is obtained from the streptococcus its source is streptococcus cyclosporin cyclosporin is immunosuppressive cyclosporin is a immunosuppressive in lipase an enzyme it is used for the dissolving oil spots sorry clearing the oil spots from clothes that's what is used in the detergent that's what is used in the detergent question number 8 again here is a match question of pre medical number of time cyclosporin that is c correct match is c trichoderma cyclo uh, polysporum it's a fungus member of deuteromycetes it's a fungus member of deuteromycetes it is a fungus then statin it's a cholesterol lowering agent statin is cholesterol lowering agent it is obtained from monascus purpureus monascus purpureus so one with c two with d let's see let's see first option one with c that is this is the possibility in these two first two rejection that is one with c is in this case and one with c in both the cases but statin for d then again two matches so we have to go for the third option also zymase is obtained from saccharomyces cerevisiae zymase enzyme is source its source is saccharomyces cerevisiae so third with a and in that case third one is rejected so fourth option is correct that is fourth with the b fourth that is tpa tpa tissue plasminogen activator this is for streptokinase tpa stands for tissue plasminogen activator tissue p for plasminogen a for activator a for activator tissue plasminogen activator immunosuppressive described already described that is cyclosporin cyclosporin obtained from a fungus trichoderma polysporum and it is used as immunosuppressive during organ transplantation statin cholesterol lowering agent statin what is the statin it is cholesterol lowering agent cholesterol lowering agent enzyme is is enzyme zymase is enzyme it is used in the alcoholic industry as well as in bread then tpa tissue plasminogen activator it's a clot buster it's a clot buster it is a clot buster dissolves clots in blood 10th commercialized blood cholesterol lowering agent in previous question i have already given the answer that is statin that is statin come to the 11th question that is source of streptomycin streptomycin is actually antibiotic 
एंड इट्स सोर्स इज स्टेप्टोमाइसिस ग्रीशियस अ बैक्टीरियम बेटर टू से इट इज एक्टिनोमाइसिटी स्टेप्टोमाइसिन ग्रीशियस एंड इट इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ऑप्टेन फर्स्ट फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्टिनोमाइसिटीज बाय सेलमैन वॉक्समैन सेलमैन वॉक्स वॉक्समैन and he gave the term antibiotic also discoverer of streptomycin one contribution second gave the term antibiotic also gave the term antibiotic gave the term antibiotic also streptomyces ramosus streptomyces oreofaciens स्ट्रेप्टोमाइसिस ऑरियोफेसन सोर्स ऑफ ऑरियोमाइसिन ऑरियोमाइसिन दैट इज क्लोरोटेट्रासाइक्लिन ऑरियोमाइसिन वॉट इज ऑरियोमाइसिन दैट इज क्लोरोटेट्रासाइक्लिन क्लोरो टेट्रासाइक्लिन एंड स्ट्रेप्टोमाइसिस ग्रेसियोफलवस स्ट्रेप्टोमाइसिस ग्रेसियोफलवस is a source of streptomycin and the last first one is streptomyces ramosus chlorum phenacol question number 12 microbe is source of first antibiotic first antibiotic was discovered by Sir Alexander Fleming. First antibiotic was discovered by Sir Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming. And he discovered penicillin antibiotic. He discovered penicillin antibiotic. and obtained for the first time from penicillium notatum and this penicillin is extensively used now a day also but the commercial source of penicillin one more information i want to share with you that is commercial source of penicillin is different commercial source of penicillin is different that is penicillium chrysogenum penicillium chrysogenum so question is asked in two ways if in the name of alexander fleming then alexander fleming discovered penicillin from penicillium notatum but if commercial source of penicillin is asked in that case answer is penicillium chrysogenum apanicillium chrysogenum first antibiotic discovered accidentally by answer is fleming and b is that is working on penicillium notatum working on penicillium notatum this is the correct one antibiotic discoverer fleming and fleming flory chain three fellows Fleming Flory chain. Fleming. Second is Flory. A third is chain. They got Nobel Award in nineteen forty-five for the discovery and development of antibiotic penicillin. So, question number thirteen. its answer is b question 14 commercial extraction i have already mentioned done by then answer is more than one option because fleming was also involved and chain and flory are also involved the most common substance used in the distilleries for the production of ethanol any source of starch containing substance 
in that case molasses is best molasses is extensively used for the production of ethanol that is c2 h5 oh that is ethyl alcohol or ethanol 16th bod biological oxygen demand that is cv in sewage treatment in sewage treatment domestic waste is also there and that is organic and that organic waste is digested by microbial activities and especially aerobic microbial activities when the activity begins when activity begins because the action is aerobic it needs oxygen it needs oxygen so initially bod increases initially bod increases or if the value of bod is high then water is heavily polluted that is contains so much impurities so much domestic waste is there so bod is high indicates water is highly polluted water is highly polluted the next is 17th question which of the following sewage treatment removes suspended solids solids are removed in primary treatment primary treatment is actually sequential filtration and sedimentation what is primary treatment that is physical treatment primary treatment is equally actually physical treatment secondary treatment is biological treatment secondary treatment is biological treatment and tertiary treatment is physiochemical tertiary treatment is physiochemical treatment physiochemical treatment is tertiary so at very at initial stage initial stage that is sequential filtration and sedimentation is done sequential filtration and sedimentation is done question 18 secondary treatment is mainly biological secondary treatment is mainly biological treatment here the microorganisms fungus bacteria are involved and this process is aerobic as well as anaerobic this process is aerobic as well as anaerobic sewage treatment where decomposer bacteria are recycled into starting process not primary treatment it is activated sludge treatment or cyclic treatment tertiary better is activated sludge treatment activated sludge treatment where the decomposers bacteria are recycled into starting process that is activated sludge biological treatment when bod of a sewage is reduced significantly and the effluent is then passed into settling tank an effluent is passed into settling tank this is the correct answer ganga action and yamuna action plan that is initiated by answer is mef ministry of environment and forest ministry of environment and forest mef stands for ministry of environment and forest first two they are involved in the biogas plant production biogas is a mixture of biogas is a mixture of methane compulsory methane is there methane carbon dioxide and hydrogen methane carbon dioxide and hydrogen is there in the biogas mixture and the percentage of methane is very high 50 to 70% methane 
and hardly 25% carbon dioxide and the remaining is hydrogen remaining is hydrogen and methane is highly inflammable methane is highly inflammable actually in biogas plant cattle dung is used cattle dung is used in the tank it is kept in the tank and this is the inlet for the dung this is the inlet for the dung and here the cover of the tank is there cover of the tank is there and from this cover a outlet is given to the L, uh, sorry that is a stove gas a stove so it can be used there and one more thing that is in this tank there is a structure that is for the steering work and after digestion that after digestion that digested dung is removed from this tank and is sent in the soil for the preparation of compost and from cow dung or cattle dung in this methanogen bacteria methanogens are present sorry methanogens are present methanogens are present they are archaea bacteria they are archaea bacteria found in ruminate animal and they are responsible for the production of methane so biogas is excellent that is very clear highly inflammable source of uh, that is methane highly inflammable gas actually and it is of biological source that's why it is called biogas which one of the following is not an example of carrying out biological control or pest control using microbes its answer is bt cotton actually in bt cotton actually in bt cotton bt stands for bacillus thuringiensis bt stands for bacillus thuringiensis and it uh, produces cry protein it produces cry protein and this cry protein is harmful for the insect harmful for insect but in bt cotton gene is taken out gene is taken out from bacteria that is cry gene bacteria that is cry gene is taken out from the bacteria and it is incorporated into the plants incorporated into the plants so genetically modified plants bt cotton is actually genetically modified or gm crop it is a gm crop and naturally produces naturally produces that toxin that is cry protein in it so it can't be externally employed that's why bt cotton is the answer bt cotton is the answer which is incorrect about the nucleopolyhedroviruses species specific right it is broad spectrum no because it is effective against certain insects only it is effective on insects only not on other organisms but this is good that is no negative effect on plant and mammals fish and other targeted non targeted insect that is it act is effective on only on targeted insect only on targeted insect it's a virus it's a virus it is host specific viruses are actually host specific which one of the following helps in absorption of phosphorus from soil the answer is glomus answer is glomus rhizobium is actually concerned with nitrogen reduction anabena is concerned with nitrogen reduction frankia is also concerned with nitrogen reduction these three are involved in reduction of nitrogen these three are involved these three are involved in nitrogen reduction
वेर इज ग्लोमस ग्लोमस इज पार्ट ऑफ माइकोराइजा दैट इज इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद द रूट ऑफ हायर प्लांट माइकोराइजा माइकोराइजा दैट इज सिम्बायोटिक एंड म्यूचुअल एसोसिएशन ऑफ फंगस विद द रूट ऑफ हायर प्लांट वॉट इज माइकोराइजा सिम्बायोटिक एंड म्यूचुअल एसोसिएशन ऑफ फंगस विद दी रूट सफायर प्लांट रूट सफायर प्लांट एंड इन दिस एसोसिएशन बोथ द पार्टनर्स गेट बेनिफिट बोथ द पार्टनर्स गेट बेनिफिटेड ग्लोमस गेट नरिशमेंट फ्रॉम द प्लांट एंड ग्लोमस प्रोवाइड फॉस्फेट एंड अदर मिनरल्स दे आर एब्सॉर्व फ्रॉम द सॉइल एंड ट्रांसफर टू द प्लांट दैट इज द रोल ऑफ ग्लोमस एंड इट इज ऑल्सो फॉर्म्स अ कवर अराउंड द रूट सो हिंद प्रोवाइड प्रोटेक्शन ऑल्सो दैट इज ग्लोमस इज माइकोराइजा ग्लोमस इज अ माइकोराइजा it is performing the function of root hair it performs the function of rooter that is absorption of water and minerals and provide to the plant and especially phosphate especially phosphate and first three are nitrogen reduction they are involved in the nitrogen reduction not with the phosphorus which one is the correct with symbiotic diazotropes what are diazotropes biological nitrogen fixing organism those organisms who are able to fix nitrogen biological nitrogen fixers they are called diazotrop those organisms who have the capability to reduce atmospheric nitrogen they are called diazotrop they are called diazotrop and see this one symbiotic word is given symbiotic diazotrop rhizobium is symbiotic but clostridium is non symbiotic anaerobic this is free living anaerobic but this is symbiont but we have to choose that particular option in which both symbionts were mentioned then second one anabina and azotobacter again anabina free living as well as symbiont but azotobacter is free living only this is free living only azotobacter is free living bacteria similarly clostridium is free living frankia symbiont frankia symbiont in root nodules of non legume and this is also symbiont root nodules of legume rhizobium is found in root nodules of legume root nodules of leguminous plants root nodules of leguminous plant rhizobium and frankia non legume root nodules of non legume but both are symbiont root nodules of non legume and glomus and boletus these are fungus these two are the fungus and they are responsible for the mineral absorption mineral absorption from soil mineral absorption sorry from soil part of mycorrhiza seen in mycorrhizic root 
माइकोराइजिक रूट सो आंसर इज दैट इज चूज दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन इन विच बोथ सिम्बॉन्स आर देयर विद दिस रिगार्ड दिस ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट दैट इज फ्रैंकिया इज फाउंड इन द रूट नोड्यूल्स ऑफ नॉन लेग्यूम राइजोबियम इज फाउंड इन रूट नोड्यूल्स ऑफ लेग्यूम्स ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ मोस्ट कॉमन सबस्ट्रेट इन डिस्टिलरी फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एथेनॉल दैट इज मोलासिस दैट इज मोलासिस ट्वेंटी एथ बेसिलोरिन जीएनसिस अ बैक्टीरियम इट इज अ इंसेक्ट पेस्ट कंट्रोल इट इज यूज फॉर द इंसेक्ट पेस्ट कंट्रोल एक्चुअली it is host specific if it is bt is a source of cry protein bt is a source of cry protein and what is bt bacillus thuringiensis this cry protein is produced by them as toxin as toxin when it is inhaled by caterpillar कैटर पिलर लार्वा देन इन देयर गलेट कैट एल्कलाइन मीडियम एंड इट स्टक टू दी वॉल ऑफ दैट गलेट एंड मेक्स इट परफोरेटेड मेक्स इट परफोरेटेड सो दे डाय दोज लार्वे डाय दिस इज द रोल ऑफ बेसिल थोरिन जेंसिस इन प्रीवियसली स्पोर्स वर देयर that is the spores are if they are spread over the plant they act in same way they act in same way now the genes of this particular bacteria genes of this particular bacteria are taken and they are incorporated in the certain plants by genetic engineering process so the gene cry gene is now taken out from these these uh, bacteria and incorporated in the number of plants so they are able to produce that toxin naturally few examples of that one is bt cotton bt cotton bt tobacco bt tobacco they are all genetically modified crop they are all genetically modified crop then i a r i and k v khadi gram village industries they are concerned with the biogas they are concerned with the biogas production these two are the concerned with the biogas production plant i a r i indian agriculture research institute this is khadi village and industrial commission biological control of pest and disease in agriculture relies on that is natural predation that is natural predation no chemical introduction no conventional and forming no mutation breeding that is if we know x is killed by y if x is harmful for the crop then instead of using chemicals or any fungicide insecticide better to use y because y is natural predator predator to x that is x is killed by y so y is the predator and if x is harmful for the plant so why don't we use y for natural obliteration of that particular insect so this is the basis of biological pest control of pest and diseases now and it is very good for the world because uh, chemical pesticides and uh, insecticide they are harmful for the soil as well as for different type of organism including human being thank you